Edgecomb Gray by Benjamin Moore. I'm super excited to be reviewing this color because it's one of those colors like Revere Pewter. It just works with a lot of different uh, design styles and elements like stone and countertop. Uh, so anyway, I get asked a lot about Edgecomb Gray and I'm gonna share with you today what the undertones are, what the best whites are to pair with Edgecomb Gray, as well as fabulous color combinations. But you know what's coming before we dive in. I wanna see you subscribe to my channel. You hit the red button below as well as the bell. You'll get notified every time I publish a new video. I've also got my new quiz, my new color quiz on my new website. So I really would love you to go check it out. Uh, if you know anything about websites, you know they're a labor of love and the color quiz has been wildly successful. And so find out which color palette is for you, whether it's gonna be coastal, eclectic, moody, or what. Let me know. Uh, links are in the description below, or you can head to my website, clairedefford.com. And if you love Edgecomb Gray, it's one of my new color guides that features this color as well as a total of 32 other colors that I have. Yeah, so I have 20 Benjamin Moore colors right now, 10 Farrell Ball, and a couple by Sherwin Williams. So if you want to find out more about my essential color guides, uh, basically you can have them at your fingertips. They're featured colors and they go through what we go through here on the video, but even a little bit more information just for you. So go check those out. Again, links in the description below. As you can see, we have Edgecomb Gray in the middle here. And to the right of that we have, or your left, we have Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore. Gray Owl is a blue gray, so you can see how it's more blue as opposed to green uh, that you see in Edgecomb Gray. And then on this side here we have the most popular Revere Pewter, which is also a green gray, but you can see how the intensity of Revere Pewter is a little bit more than what is in Edgecomb Gray, so it's a little bit darker. Beautiful colors, all of these three could definitely be working well together for you. And uh, if you didn't already know, I've also got color reviews on Gray Owl and on Revere Pewter, make sure you check those out. I'm gonna share with you now my three top whites to use with Edgecomb Gray. Starting off with the infamous Cloud White CC40, you see that here? So it is the creamiest of the three whites that I'm showing you, and it looks fabulous with this color. Next, we have Simply White OC117, which is still a beautifully soft white, not quite as yellow as the Cloud White that I just showed you though. And the coolest of the three whites, as I just mentioned, this is Oxford White here. That is also by Benjamin Moore, CC30. It's a beautiful white. So again, depending on your fixed elements, depending on where you wanna go with Edgecomb Gray, you have some different options there for whites. And I always love showing you the comparisons of the whites as well, so you don't go, Claire, those whites all look exactly the same. Well, no, because once you start comparing them, you can see they certainly do not, my friend. So here we have Cloud White, Simply White, and Oxford White. So all these three whites are very different, going from the warmer kind of yellow and then moving into the cooler whites down at the end there. All right, before we get into some of my favorite color pairings with Edgecomb Gray, I wanna hear from you. Can you please comment below and let me know, have you used this color? We used it in a mood board, which you're gonna see here, in a client's condo for their main floor, and he absolutely loved it. So did we. All right, here we have the first one up, and this is Gray Cashmere. I love Gray Cashmere. Look how beautiful it looks with Edgecomb Gray. And we use this actually in a client's lounge. So you can take a look at that here. We have Pashmina here, which is another green gray. If you've seen my Pashmina review video, call, you will know. I have also used Pashmina in a dining room for a client. Here it is here. It's just a beautiful color. Uh, and you can see how it's just a little bit more darker a little more depth, a little more green than Edgecomb Gray. So you kind of would have like Revere Pewter at one end, then you've got Edgecomb Gray in the middle, and then something like a Pashmina on the other side. So all would work beautifully together. And if you want an option that's a little bit darker, a little more muddy, a little more moody, then why not try Rockport Gray? Rockport Gray is also a green gray. So you can see why all of these colors work really well together. Just depends on how far down the spectrum you wanna go. Let's take a look at all four of them together. It's such a beautiful palette. So again, we've got Edgecomb Gray, we've got Rockport Gray, Pashmina, and over here I'm gonna move out of the way so you can see it with 
gray cashmere. Take a look at all of them and remember that on the blog, I create graphics of all of these so you can have a look at them. You can even pin them to Pinterest. All right, thank you so much for being here with my color review of Edgecomb Gray. If you want to see more videos, like I said at the beginning, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Did you like it? If you didn't, that's okay. Give me a thumbs down. I got thick skin. I can handle it. And uh, make sure that you are staying in touch with me over on my website. Check out the color quiz. Links will be in the description below. And I can't wait to hear what color palette is best for you. Until next time, I'm Claire Jefford. I'll see you soon. Cheers. And it's so hot. I've got the sun beaming through. And then I'm like sweating. So you know what? Sometimes you just can't win. So when you see my videos come out eventually, the ones that I filmed today with some frizzy hair, maybe a little bit of sweat beating off my face, just, just know that I was doing it to get those color review information out to you. To you! <laughs>